More Texas, Texas Business, Business Radio. Register and we're back. Hello, Texas. Welcome back to Texas Business Radio. I'm Jay Curry, your host for this segment. Matt had to step out. He's going to be back for our next segment. But uh, we've got a dandy one for this this 15 minutes. I think you're going to enjoy this. We're talking about how to turn the world green, and in particular, relating to lighting and energy consumption. I have here in the studio Ron Farmer, who's the president of USLED, a I guess lighting manufacturer. I'm not sure what you'd call yourself. Yeah, Ron, right. thank you for joining us. <laughs> Why don't you explain? <laughs> you know what US LED is all about. Okay. Well, it's a LED lighting company for commercial and industrial lighting, and that would be easiest said. It's like parking lot lighting and wall packs and interior lighting in a building like this one or the building that your listeners are in right now. I'm sure if they look up above their head, they'll have a two by four, two by two tropper. Uh, incandescent cans and such as that. And so that's what we replace, uh, whether it's in a, a retail store or if it's in an office or a convenience store, hospital, uh, you know, manufacturing, distribution centers. We do all of that. So it literally is engineering and manufacturing, though. Is, yes, is, it is. I mean, it, it, yeah. it's easy to say what you just said, but you have to really understand <coughs> what's behind this. It's not just take this light bulb out and put the other one in. No, no it's, it's not that. It's much bigger than that, right? Yeah, it is much bigger than that. Uh, well, the, probably let's go back one half a step uh, sure. because you um, alluded to wanting to know whether or not we do our own engineering, and we do. We yeah. have in-house engineers. We have nine owner staff, engineering staff, I mean, uh, seven are degreed engineers. So we design the shape of the, the product. We design the heat sink. We design the board, the LEDs, how they're applied, the lensing, how we direct the light and everything. So that's all done in-house. We don't take any Chinese products and relabel them and simply put our name on it and do a multiple listing. So we don't do that. And so as a result, we can set a standard and keep that standard across the, uh, the breadth of all of our product. Another claim to fame for us, I mean, there's a couple, three I'd like to mention. One is the, the catalog. It's a very large catalog. So we can go into uh, an office building to do pretty much everything. We can do the you know hallways, back room, bathrooms, uh, the parking garage, the uh, parking lots, and so on. And we do the same thing even in a someplace like a convenience store. You wouldn't think of a convenience store as being someplace with a lot of variety, but it really does. If you think they've got a car wash, they've got the canopy lights, they've got interior refrigeration lighting where you get your bottled water or beer or whatever, you know, we can do all of that lighting. Uh, and it's We're all also done. open 24 hours practically in most cases, certainly yeah. a long time. And those lights are going daytime and nighttime so sure. that's a good application a good yeah, example that's a good example so that's we, we've done over six thousand uh convenience stores in the united states we've done i can't even tell you how many uh, some like seventeen thousand retail stores that we've done in the united states we've done over four thousand this year alone and and that's retrofitting from fluorescence over to led lighting or over uh, from incandescent lighting or or uh, hid lighting and such as that so we've got a, a, a large, and, that, and the thing I was going to mention earlier, uh, sort of our, our differentiator, is that our, our lights last longer not just than incumbent lighting, but they last longer than most of the LED products as well. We have a 200,000 hour L70, and L70 just a, a commercial term within our industry, and, it, uh, and it's all, all the testing is done the same, no matter whether it's us or Cooper or whomever. And so when we say that ours are 200,000 hours and somebody else's are 50,000, which is the standard, in the industry, the LED industry I'm talking about now, you know, ours are much longer life. So in 10 years, a standard LED lighting product has to be replaced because it's lost 30% of its light. It's too dim now uh, at the end of the 10 years. Ours will have only lost 7 or 8% of the light in that same 10-year period. So we can go 20 or 30 years uh, with our lights, and, and they will actually last that long. That's a big competitive advantage to you versus... Phillips or GE and some of those is they're putting in pretty standard stuff. lifetimes, standard, standard standard lifetimes, right? And versus so, you're really engineering these mm -hmm. things that are. Yeah. Everybody has that choice, by the way. I mean, you can. I mean, it isn't that GE doesn't know the difference and how to do the difference. It's not that at all. It's just that some companies. Uh, and I don't. I haven't looked at G's catalog lately, so I don't know exactly, you know, mm -hmm. whether theirs are fifty thousand hours still or not. But that's very standard in industry. If if you looked at, you know, uh, um, the largest percentage, I would say that probably eighty percent of all the LED lighting will be a fifty thousand hour life fixture, even an engineered fixture. And now another th differentiator that your your listeners might want to 
uh, to know is that there's a difference between a LED screw-in light bulb. They only last 15 to 25,000 hours in general. And so that's a much, much less lifetime than what an engineered fixture, even at 50,000 hours, is. It's half or less. So there's a tremendous response, tremendous ROI for this, both in, in cost mm-hmm. and in saving of power, right? Right. Didn't you say something like 20%? of all of our electricity is just for yes. lighting and yeah uh last time i looked was several years ago but it was 19 percent of of all of the electricity produced in the united states was used for lighting and we can we as an industry can save about 75 percent of that 60 to 80 uh, percent we have some that we've saved over 80 percent literally i mean where we've done a side-by-side test and so on but anyway uh so you could shut down i mean theoretically shut down about three-fourths of all the power plants and the and that are used for lighting so that would be you know um three-fourths of 19 percent for it to be could be huge for yeah. sure so the the other thing is that the industry uh, has been kind of pushed by i guess government to get into this for the reasons that you just stated i mean no 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 is so, it just no. financial no yeah it's all financial i mean the government wasn't even in, involved in it as far as I know. Uh, I, we got in it in 2001. There was only red lighting back then. We were lighting signs only at that time. And there were other companies that were lighting street lights. And I, that was about all that was getting done. And there were indicator lights on computers and such. But but very little was really being Couldn't done. Couldn't use other than that, that in like No, no, your not for general purpose years. lighting. So it's about 2005, the first uh, Lumilays brought out the first white lights that were worth anything. And, and, they, weren't, was and they weren't really great by, that, by then. But another five years went by. 2009, we were actually starting to develop uh, decent uh, ROI based on 24 hours a day. So we went into refrigeration lighting. But we did, in 2010, we did over 6,000 uh, 7-Eleven stores with our product. Over 800,000 feet went in. The following year, we did uh, 5,000 of those same stores. We did the 2 by 2 troffers uh, for the overhead light inside the store. So by 2010-11, you know, white light was, had arrived. And then just, we just continued as an industry, just continue to make it better and better. And now we get paybacks of two years or less is very common. Wow. So it really was the development of the product that's made this revolutionary. Is it mature now? Are we... Pretty, pretty mature, actually. I mean, we're getting very, very good efficacies now. I mean, at a fixture level, it's not uncommon now to get 125 to 155 lumens per watt. And uh, to compare that to... A, Oh, I don't even know what an incandescent bulb is, but it's it's uh, you know a tenth of that probably. Wow, and you you could get potential return that's that's amazing. We're refitting the whole United States because of this, right? Yes, How, yes, how's absolutely. that coming? Is that a twenty year project, a five year? What, what what's that? All? Well, uh, it's it's well into it now. The incumbent lighting companies like Acuity and GE and so on. Uh, I recently read that something on the order of eighty percent of Acuity's uh, lighting now is LED lighting as opposed to the incumbent. Uh, GE is selling their lighting business. Uh, Philips has announced they're selling their lighting business. Sylvania announced they were selling their lighting business. So all the big names in lighting have announced that they're going to sell. I don't know if they all will, but they've all announced that they're going to. So if you look at it, uh, this is not the future because there's no residual business behind it. And once you put something in, it's going to last, even at 50,000 hours, it's going to last 10 years. You know, 200,000 hours, it's going to last, you know, 30 or more. And so there's not going to be that big business in the future of going down to Home Depot and buying a light bulb to go replace the one in your house because you will have already done it once and you're not going to do it again for many, many, many years. So the big companies are actually getting out of the lighting business. That's because of the retrofitting is becoming mature. And like you More said, mature. Yeah. it is just going to, it, it is revolutionizing. Yeah. Uh, in another three to five years, most of the first phase of, of uh, retrofitting will be done. And then something else is going to happen. I mean, what's going to happen then is the, the original LED lighting products that were put in in 2010, 11, 12, and so on that only had 50,000-hour lights, they would have lost so much of their light, they will have to be replaced again. But that's another three to five years out. And so there, you know, there, there'll still be business, you know, but after, after you've done that a couple of cycles, you know, the, the really long, long, long term will be for new construction. There won't be, there won't be retrofitting anymore. Fabulous story. Fabulous story and very interesting. So, Ron, I don't now, folks. If if you're thinking about calling Ron to have him fix your house or something, you know that's not going to work. <laughs> We're talking industrial here. We're talking about big commercial. But if somebody did want to learn more, where would they go? 
Uh, well, go on the website. It's the best thing. Uh, USLED.com would uh, be the best place uh, to look at our product line. USLED.com. All exactly. right, folks. Ron Farmer, CEO of USLED. Thank you, Ron, for your time. We're going to have to take a break, but before we do, let me remind you that you can go to TexasBusinessRadio.com. You can see Ron's interview. You can see all of our guests. You can learn about our sponsors. Everything's there at TexasBusinessRadio.com. We also monitor uh, hashtag TBR on Twitter, and if you want to call in, we'll get the expert. We'll get you the answer at our 24-hour call in, 844-814-8144. We're going to take a break. We're going to get Matt Register back in the studio. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. There's much more where that came from. At TexasBusinessRadio.com. 